It's not every day that I get to share the stage with a PhD from Columbia. It makes me, it makes me feel very smart. I'm very excited to, to, share, to share your aura here. This is Marshall Cox. He's the CEO of Radiator Labs. Uh, many of you uh, in the audience, particularly media, have asked uh, for introductions to Marshall and, and for, for good reason. Another New York City-based uh, startup also uh, uh, doing a lot in the sustainability um, uh, space. So very interesting to a good number of folks across our industry, both internet, uh, technology, and real estate. He's a fascinating guy. Uh, pay attention to this one. Uh, last of five here, we have uh, Marshall Cox, CEO of Radiator Labs. Thank you, Aaron. Thanks for that uh, awesome intro music. So my name is Marshall Cox. I'm here to tell you about Radiator Labs, where we're bringing radiator heat into the 21st century. And I also like to ask a question at the beginning of my presentations. How many people here have ever lived in a home or an apartment that was heated by radiators? Excellent. We are in New York. It's pretty common. Now, raise your hand again if you ever had to open your window in the middle of winter because you were too hot. Yes, it's extremely common. You will understand this next slide. I also lived in an apartment that was overheated. It was an unmitigated hellhole. And the experience was so horrible that it drove me to invent what eventually became Radiator Labs, and I'll get to that in a second. I first want to explain to everybody why this is a problem. Why are our homes so overheated with, with radiators? The problem isn't that steam heat is bad. Steam heat is great. Uh, these buildings were built over 100 years ago. There was no other technology to heat large spaces. And in fact, these buildings were really well balanced, but then we invented double pane insulating glass. And when we changed all of those windows, it completely changed the amount of energy required to heat each room, independent of whether they're in the same building. So now you have cold rooms and hot rooms. You have to heat the coldest room to the minimum statutory temperature, and everyone else gets vastly overheated as a result. This is why we have this problem. It's an inability to control where steam is going in the building. It's a distribution problem. It's also not just a comfort problem. It's an enormous environmental and financial disaster. Uh, there are estimates of how much waste these buildings experience. About 30% of the, of the fuel they consume is wasted due to overheating. If you look across the, the residential real estate that, that uses steam, about 14% of the U.S. residential stock, that's $7 billion a year in fuel that we're wasting. $1.2 billion right here in New York City every year. And that's fuel that we burn into the air in which we live and breathe. So it's, it's a big problem. And Radio Labs has developed the first effective solution to this issue. It's called the Cozy. It's a smart insulating enclosure that you drop over each radiator. Uh, there's no plumbing involved. There's no electrician involved. We thermodynamically manipulate how much steam how much enters that radiator, how much heat you get in your room. And I can go into a lot more detail afterwards if you want to speak to me. Essentially, you install this in, in one apartment if you're overheated, and you can control the temperature in your apartment with your cell phone because each one of these systems is connected to the internet. When we install these building-wide, um, in the majority of radiators in the building, we're able to push heat essentially from hot rooms to cold rooms. We heat those colder rooms up 30% faster, and we are able to turn the boiler off sooner, saving 25 to 30%, 35% in heating costs. It's a really big deal. It's a big deal because there are so many of these systems out there. In New York City alone, there are 10 million steam radiators. 10 million. We sell each unit for $500 right now, which yields actually really aggressive paybacks. Um, that's the number on top, but you look in the United States in general, 60 million steam radiators. You include hot water as well, and you're talking about 120 million radiators in the United States. Internationally, 200 million plus. This is a very big market. And this just shows you here, the, the people that already purchase our systems in which their buildings are installed uh, represent about 300,000 radiators. So this is a really big issue that we're tackling in New York City. Who are those customers? Probably names you know. We started out at Columbia University. They're a big proponent of us. Um, that's where we invented the technology. Obviously, NYU jumped on board very quickly. We moved into multifamily as fast as we could. We worked with companies such as LaFrac, Kemby's, Rudin, some of the biggest names in, in real estate. Uh, we've done a fantastically successful pilot with the city, uh, Department of City Administrative Services, who's essentially green-lighted us for deployment throughout their 4,500 buildings. We work with cities ac across the northeastern United States, um, and we're now moving into commercial buildings, which, of course, can benefit from this technology. So if you have a steam heated building, what can you do? What's out there today that you can use to, to try to fix this problem? There's actually not that much. Um, obviously, the status quo is opening your window, not an effective solution. It's not comfortable. It wastes enormous amount of energy. It's not a solution. 
On the other end of the spectrum, you can completely renovate your building. You can tear out the steam and put something else in. This is essentially not done. It does not ever pay for itself. No one really does this. Somewhere in the middle, you might be familiar with, with TRVs, thermostatic radiator valves, the little dials you find on radiators. These systems are great. They work great for hot water. They were designed for hot water. They do not really work for steam. A lot of people don't even install them anymore. Everyone's talking about nests these days and programmable thermostats, and these systems are great, obviously, and, and when you can install them. If you live in a multifamily building with steam heat, there's nothing to connect these to, so this also is not a solution. Radiator Labs really is the first low-cost, effective solution for this entire market. And as a bonus, since we connect these radiators to the internet, essentially, we can start connecting them to things like Nest. We can start connecting them into the internet of things, creating an entire new market for this entire industry. How well does it work? In a nutshell, extremely well. This is temperature data from a uh, hot room, warm room, cold room, before and after radiator labs. And essentially, wherever we install, since we're pushing energy from the hot parts of the building to the cold parts, we heat cold rooms up faster, get them to temp comfortable temperatures, we cool down the hot rooms, essentially bring every temperature to a flat line at the set point. And we can do that by virtue of the way their system works, so I can go into detail if you come and see me. Efficiency-wise, since we're solving the root problem of this distribution issue in these buildings, we're able to solve enormous amounts of energy, essentially overnight. This is data from a building we installed two years ago, um, where overnight we reduced the heating cost by 34%. This building has sustained this savings since, since installed two years ago. And we're not necessarily saving energy because we're lowering temperatures. This building had and still has a set point of 75 degrees. All we're doing is eliminating the gross underlying waste by solving the root problem and incentivizing people to close their windows. Before I summarize, I just want to introduce the team. So I'm the inventor of the technology. Got my PhD at Columbia University in engineering. I um, have a background in a couple startups um, ar around town. Uh, my COO, is, who is also here, Dave Yeskel, has a, has a deep and storied history in uh, strategic planning and business development for um, you know, energy efficiency, rental uh, real estate, um, retrofitting, and has a lot of contacts in real estate and, and the city. And my co-founder, Professor Comissis at Columbia, is a technical genius, enormous resource to the company. So to quickly summarize, there are a lot, there's a ton of value we bring to these kind of buildings. Obviously, comfort and control. Again, for the first time in the history of these buildings, tenants can control their temperatures with their cell phone or, or a, a connected computer. Obviously, by addressing the root problem here, the, the efficiency that we, efficient gains we find are outstanding. And there are also some more subtle ancillary benefits that we provide. Bring all this information online, as, as many of the companies in our, in our keynote uh, mentioned, this data is enormously valuable. We can use it to detect alarm states in buildings. We can basically build a model of how the building heats up and cools down and tell you what's going on in every part of your building in real time. And there's a, a subtle aspect um, here for asset value. If you are decreasing heating costs by 30%, you're decreasing operating expenditure by 10%. By increasing net operating income by 10%, you have an immediate value increase in your portfolio. So there's a number of reasons why we, we're valuable here. There's no reason steam heated buildings shouldn't, shouldn't start looking at us and start installing us in our building. Uh, this year, we're expanding deployments to 40 buildings. And so if you or someone you know owns or operates steam heated buildings, we urge you to contact us. Uh, we'd love to work for you and solve this problem. Thank you very much, and I look forward to meeting you guys afterwards. <laughs> <laughs>